Welcome back to video 7 in our GORM IDE series. We're going to pick up where we left off with our last video after we got PHP MyAdmin set up. We're going to create a new database using PHP MyAdmin and then we're going to use our console in GORM to actually connect to it. So we're going to start a new database. We'll just call it MyCDs. I'll just make something real quick. I'll call it MyCDs, like an old CD database. And I'll just say create. And what it'll do first, it'll say you need a table. All relational databases typically are created by tables. So we'll have a table inside the database. So there's my database, my CDs, and I'll make a table and I'll just call it CDs and that's coming up. And I'm gonna make it five columns right now. And that means those are the categories. And I'll hit go. And again, I'm just doing this just to show you a couple things here. And what I'll do first is I'll make a first field, which is an ID, it'll be an integer, and then I'll also scroll over to the right and do AI for auto increment. That'll be auto increment, so I won't have to create an ID. It'll just start with one. So I'll just check that and I'll hit go here. And that's all I have to do with that. So I'm making an ID. And then again, we're making CDs. I'm gonna put artist and I'll just make everything lowercase. So there's artist. The next one, I'll do title. So title's coming up here. The next one, I'm gonna put date as far as date released. And the last one here, I'm gonna put type, meaning it'll either be like a studio album, it'll be a compilation, or it'll be a live album. I'll just put a category like that. So that's what I'll do here. So again, the first one, ID, integer, everything's fine there. Just make sure you check that. For artist, I'm gonna make everything varcar. That's pretty much our default text setting. You could put a length here, I'll put 33. I think that was a default that used to come up. So I'll do varcar. Same thing with title, I'll do varcar. Maybe I'll make this bigger. I'll just put 100 in case there's a really long album title. And the date, you don't have to put integer. You could still put varcar and I'll put four because if we're using years, we're not gonna have any different than four digits for the year. So I'll use varcar. Unless I'm using math, you don't really have to use an integer. So we're not gonna do any math with it. So varcar is fine, just like an address. You're not gonna add up an address or anything like that. And for type, I'll go down here and do something different. I'll scroll down and I'll under string, I'm gonna do something called enum. I'm going to look for enum and that gives you like a choice and it has edit enum set values and I'm going to click on this little link here and I'm going to put studio comp meaning a compilation and I'll put live and if I want to keep them all four letters I could do that that way I've they're kind of consistent that way and I don't have to spell a lot of things I don't need this one here it wouldn't matter if it did and make sure you hit go I went to close right away so make sure you hit go and there they are now they're showing up there so that's what we want, enum and those things there. So make sure you hit go and not close. So after you have these fields, these are our categories of our database. Now we didn't add anything yet. These are just kind of how they're gonna be structured. So I'm gonna hit save. So there's kind of our database. So we have an auto ID, which is our primary key. We have an artist, title, date, type. And what we can do now is just add some items to our database. And I'll do this real quick because you don't want to watch me creating a database. So I'll do one of them and then I'll do the others real quick so we have a database together. So where I can do that is under insert. And they can let you do two at a time right now. And you don't have to put anything for ID since we're doing auto ID. You don't have to put anything on the left side here. So I'm just going to put in, I'll do something like from college, I'll put in the Smiths. I'll put a couple Smith CDs in here. And I'll put the first one, which was just the self-titled one. I think that came out in 1982, and it was a studio album. So that's all I need there. The next one, I don't have to put an ID. Again, once again, I'll put the Smiths. I'll just click on that. And then for title, I'll put Meat is Murder. That was our second studio album. And the type, that was also a studio album, so I'll hit go. This will add two items to our database. Now here they are right here. Now instead of just going and looking what we have in here, it's showing me our SQL code here. And what we can do here, just to learn about SQL a little bit, is I'm just going to put some breaks in here. And I'm getting little red X's here because I'm not using commas. So it's giving me some problems with my SQL, and that's fine. And then I'll put one last one here. I still have a red X here. That's because I have this one has a semicolon. I'll make sure all the previous ones have commas and then the final one has a semicolon. So I'm doing this actually using SQL code instead of going in the insert in those fields. So whatever's good for you, but eventually you wanna learn how to do this because it'll be easier because you could work with text files and things like that instead of filling in fields. Except let me take out those first two because I'd have duplicates in there. So. That's what actually happened. So I did that another time and the same thing happened. So now I'm gonna, I'm gonna add the other ones. So I already have 
the first one, the Smith and Meat is Murder. Now what I'll do is I'll just put in these other ones. So this is being added to it. And again, it was a little confusing because it opened up the, the new window here. But now I'm adding the other elements to that database. So that way the numbers should go from one and two. This should be three, four, five, and six. I think we should have six in here. So these will add the other ones into our database. And notice that when we do this, it's saying null here for our first item in here because basically these are the field names that are showing up here and we're not putting anything for ID because it's auto increment. And then we're putting in all the other ones. So now I'm gonna hit go and this should add more to our database. And that's showing the four rows were inserted into our database, into our table. And if I come here and I'll just hit ignore all, there they are. So now we have six elements in our database. So my structure is basically the table CDs. You can see it says database, my CDs, table CDs, and I think that's all we need right now. Now, if I go back here, I'm gonna go back and do show databases again, just like I did. I'm in MySQL right now, so I'm still in the console. I'll do show databases. And I spelled it wrong, so that's why that's showing up there. So I'll hit my up arrow, and that way I can backspace and not have to type everything, and I'll just fix it. And now I have my CDs. So what I'll do is I'll say use my CDs. That means I'm choosing that database and I'll put a semicolon here for my SQL and it says database changed. And just to make sure that I'm seeing the table, I'm going to say show tables and I'll show you where to find all this stuff for SQL code. It's not that hard and there's a lot of good resources out there to find stuff. And there's my CDs table. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll write uh, an SQL query. I'll use something called select and I'll use an asterisk and asterisk and I'll say all from, and it's CDs, that's the table that I'm working. And I'll say where, I'll put something where, and I'd have to look here, and I'm gonna say where type is studio. That way I have a couple more here. I don't, I don't have a lot of things going on here. So I'll go back here and I'll say where, and I have to spell it exactly the way it is. So I have to use lowercase. So where type equals, and I'm just doing a little query here. And then because we're using like a string of our car, I'm gonna put, stud because I was using stud for studio. I could use one quote or two quotes. I'll use, I just happen to type in two, so that's fine. I'll put a semicolon. And what should appear here as I'm working in my MySQL console, that should show me my output of the studio albums. And if I wanted to do another one, I could, I could even, I think, highlight this and put this right in here and change this to be live. And I could find the live albums, which should only be one. And there it is, it's ranked. So now I'm doing some SQL queries right here in my terminal in GORM. So I could do that. So if anybody's an instructor out there or educator and you need to teach database, you can do that here. You can use phpMyAdmin. There's an easier way to do it by using the insert, by doing all this stuff. Or you can actually use SQL code like we were doing and learn SQL in here. And you can go back to your terminal and actually learn how to connect to a database and display stuff from a database. So that's just some basics with PHP MyAdmin. So we created a database and we're connecting to one right now. So that's pretty cool that we're able to do that. And we'll eventually be able to use PHP and connect to databases here. But just for now, we'll stop here. And that's just our little intro to PHP MyAdmin. And what I'll do is get out of the MySQL console and just type in quit. And that's it. And you could close this up and I can close my container and then I'm done for now. Now, if you log out, you're probably going to get that because now that we closed our container, our web server is no longer working. So we can't see PHP anymore. So that's that. And that's our little intro to PHP my admin making a little database. There's my closed container. We'll see you next time with a little bit more working with databases and SQL using the GORM IDE.